No doubt Colorado's weather captured headlines at different times throughout 2023. We saw weather extremes of all sorts from hail to blizzards to tornadoes. Denver 7 meteorologist Steve Roldan takes a look back at 2023 and how climate change may have played a role. Colorado rang in 2023 with frigid temperatures, record cold snaps and huge temperature swings. February temperatures not budging, keeping Denver in the big chill. Springtime in Colorado, if you can call it that. We saw temperatures below normal with rainfall well above normal. Rainfall records shattered, putting May 2023 in the record books as the fourth wettest May on record. It was also extremely active for severe thunderstorms, so a large number of tornadoes and, and possibly the most active hail season that we've ever had in Colorado. Dr. Russ Schumacher knows Colorado's weather. He's a state's climatologist, and he says Colorado's weather can be interesting on its own. Add global warming to the mix, and things can get a lot more interesting. The wet years get wetter, the dry years get drier. Maybe the average doesn't change all that much, but, but you kind of end up with greater variability um, and, and more of these extremes kind of bouncing between drought and, and heavy rainfall. Speaking of heavy rain, it was June when storms ramped up, causing widespread flooding. One of those storms spawning this rare tornado that cut a six mile path of destruction through Highlands Ranch on June 22nd. The National Weather Service categorizing the tornado as an EF1, packing winds from 86 to 110 miles per hour. There is a history of tornadoes hitting in the Denver metro area, but it's certainly less frequent than, than what happens further out on the plains. Then there was this, also happening in June. Close to 100 Red Rocks concert goers pelted with large hail as they scrambled for cover. I think one thing that is likely to chain likely to continue going forward is we're going to continue to see more and more damage from hail um, and some of that may be due to a changing climate but even even a bigger factor is that we keep building you know uh, cities are growing outward there's more structures in the way there's just more stuff to be hit when you get one of these big hailstorms. then came july also one for the record books remember the old saying that tornadoes don't happen in the mountains well, these pictures of the damage of an EF1 tornado near Pikes Peak prove otherwise. And we can't forget one of the biggest weather stories of the year happening in August. Check out this record-breaking hailstorm. It measured five and a quarter inches. You know, climate change isn't, isn't sort of making new threats. It's, it's taking the ones that we already have and that we know about and potentially making them worse. And when that overlays with, you know, vulnerable populations, people in vulnerable areas, that can, that can really lead to big impacts. Now, as we head into 2024, one of the stories that will likely capture the headlines will be El Nino. And for that one, we'll just have to wait and see. For more of my interview with Dr. Rush Schumacher, the state's climatologist, go to our website, denver7.com. We have a link to that interview. I'm Denver 7 meteorologist Steve Roldan.